We are Jonathan and Derek Espady from Richland, Indiana. We live right on the Ohio River and raise food grade white corn along with soybeans. On our family farm, my dad, he plants, he unloads the grain dryer, he's in charge of the grain facility. My uncle Kenny, he sprays, puts in hydrous on, runs a combine. I also run a combine during the fall, corn and beans, spread fertilizer in the fall, and also work ground. I grew up on our family farm, working beside my dad, my uncle, and also my late grandfather. At the age of probably 15 years old, I started working ground, and ever since, I've had the passion of farming. And I too grew up on a farm. Um, I got to only ride along a little bit in the tractor, um, but now I can be seen working alongside Jonathan uh, some days when I have off and um, just helping to grow our operation. I would just say with Farm Bureau, I think with all the lack of education, I think Farm Bureau and other ag organizations are very vital and important to helping educate our consumers to understand the importance of farms. I at least think that can be Farm Bureau's role to help us push forward and to keep family farms successful and to keep them alive today. So Jonathan and I have not only served on the State Young Farmer Committee, but we're also active on our county uh, board. Jonathan serves as the Young Farmer Chair and I serve as our County Education and Outreach Coordinator. Uh, Jonathan has a great time um, planning and helping, um, I guess I help too, uh, but with our spring annual springtime on the farm where our kids come out, uh, this year we had um, a, news a newscaster come out um, so we could show that on local news, um, what we're doing to help promote agriculture and what stations our kids are seeing when they come out for the event. I get a chance to work with uh, more on the adult side sometimes um, in our community to help educate our adults on um, problems agriculture is facing and again trying to help uh, bridge that consumer disconnect as well as working with our youth and helping Jonathan at springtime on the farm as well. One of my fondest memories of uh, being involved in Farm Bureau was when we um, went down to Nashville for the YFNR conference. I would say my uh, fondest Farm Bureau memory um, was actually probably being here at the farm. Um, we were lucky to have our Lieutenant Governor to come down um, and to show her around a little bit and talk about some struggles that young farmers um, just like us are facing. So those are probably my favorite uh, Farm Bureau memories. So, you know, one of the challenges we know a lot of young farmers face is um, maybe not always having an operation to kind of uh, walk into, so to speak. And with my background and, and with Jonathan's uh, background and, and family already being, having an established farm, um, he did have a few extra benefits and, and a few extra um, helps along the way, I guess, to, to help get started and didn't just have to start from scratch, which is a very challenge when you consider all the input costs and expenses and um, all the things you have to face up front with no help. Um, so we've been very fortunate to avoid um, that, that problem with farming. With Farm Bureau, we have, we've had the opportunity to visit the State House as also as our State Capitol, Washington, D.C., and learn how our legislative process works and also how our elected officials impact us as farmers. We're very grateful for Indiana Farm Bureau for helping um, farmers, all young farmers, we're kind of a little biased in particular with young farmers, um, to help our future prosper and to help our ag industry thrive. Uh, so farmers like Jonathan and I um, and many of our friends uh, to be successful and enjoy and be able to keep the ag industry going every day.